Hi guys, Wandersun here. In this video I will teach you how to send and receive data using Python as the backend and Qt Quick as the user interface. Before we start don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. I will teach you how to create the connection between Qt Quick and Python using slot and signal to send and receive data. For example, when I type my name in the text field and click the change name button it will send that text via a function to Python where we can edit this data and send it back to the user interface using a signal. Then in the next video we will learn how to send Boolean data and how to get that data back and also how to create a data loop using the QTime function that will return the current date every second to our user interface. We will create a component called Connections, this component will be responsible for connecting our user interface to Python, with this connection we will be able to send data and also recover this data through signals. That connection will have a target called a backend. With this target created we need to associate it with Python using the setContext property function that will give us access to receive and send data. I created an image to exemplify how this target will work, see that we associate this target called backend as shown in the image for Python. It can be a little confusing at first, but when we go to practice it will be easier to understand this process. And let's start creating our connection inside Python. I will create a viable called main that will receive a class called man window. We need to create this class, it will be within that class that we will work with the data that we will receive and send using the Qt tools. We need to import the class Q object, this class is part of the Qt core, so import the class as shown in the video and also the class slot and signal. After that create a definition as shown in the video to initiate this class. With the main window class created we will create the root context function that will receive the context of the user interface, in this case is the connection called backend that we created on the QML homepage. Note that the names must be written exactly the same, both in the Python file and in the QML homepage file. When this done we will create a variable set name that will receive the signal of type string. This signal can be for example of other types like booleans and integers. It will be using this signal that we will send the data to the interface. The QML file will receive via a function where it will apply this data wherever we want in the user interface, in this case on the label shown previously. We need to use a decorator called slot, that slot can also receive several types like, string, boolean and integer. This slot will indicate that the function below is part of the user interface context, and it is through this function that we will receive the data coming from the home page. Let's create a function called welcome text that will receive the parameters self and name. The name parameter will receive a value of type string as indicated in the slot above. Let's take this text that we have read and contact the word welcome. Now we need to go back to our home page and add a function to the change name button that when it is clicked it will call the function we just created in the main python file.
This function must start with the target backend, which will send the text that was written in the text field to Python using the text parameter by the welcome text function. Done that we will run our application to see if it is working. See that I made a mistake. I wrote the parameter called get name, but the sign is with set name. Let's rename it to set name and run our application to see if it will return any error. See that not even an error was found. So now we need to go back to the connection in the home page file, where we will create a function that will receive the signal called set name as a parameter, and we will apply this text to our label. Create a function called on set name. See this function needs to have the same name as the signal set name, but starting with the letters O and N followed by the name set text. This is mandatory to be written in this way. This done we will type the label ID that will receive this text and use the text parameter saying that it will be equal to the parameter name of the onSetName function. Just to fix the information, remember that the name of the function must be the same as the signal created, in this case set name, but beginning with the letters O and N as shown in the image. Now when we run our application we can see that everything is working correctly. When we click on the change name button it sends this data through the welcome text function to Python where it concatenates this text with the word welcome and returns to the label we chose in our user interface. Note that if we change the text of our function when we run our application again, and do the same process again, it will appear in the user interface label. That is, everything is working correctly. To recap, we created a connection with the target called the backend, where it shares the user interface data with Python which means that when this button is clicked on the home page it sends that data to Python. After that this data is manipulated and sent back to the user interface as shown in the video. I will return to the previous text and run the application again. We finish this video here where we learn how to make the first connection between the user interface and the back end using Python. In the next video, I will teach you how to create a repeat loop inside Python where you will send each second the current time to the user interface and also another function to hide the visibility of the rectangle below when we click on the toggle button. Thanks to all Patreon supporters. See you in the next video.